Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hyperscape. I'm going to go through this again. New game releasing on, I think it's like technical tests on July 2nd. We're just going through here. This is our second day of testing. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, this is the little hub you get when you join the game. This is not how the first game is going to look. As with the other videos you might see on the channel, we're going to be going through the paces of this game. It's quite fun. I'm, I'm loving this game a lot, so. With that said, we have a little squad section here. We have a locker. The locker allows you to change your champion. To my knowledge, the champion's just looks. Cosmetics, you can change your deployment pod. So we're gonna change it to this one. We have emotes that are set. Emblems. Weapon skins, so here's all the weapons that you have available. And there's skins that go with each weapon, so. Back here, Ripper. This is like a smart pistol. This is like an auto rifle. As you can see, my character's got it in his hand. Sniper rifle. Minigun, which shreds. I don't know if they nerfed anything on this patch from the first test or the second test. Shotgun. Grenade launcher. Some kind of like energy sniper rifle thing. It's pretty dope. Then we have this Komodo, which is what I call like a rocket launcher, essentially. Feels like that's what it feels like. And we have your your pistol. So melee weapons, baton. It's pretty good. Not that bad. You can change your loading screen, obviously. So that's the locker. Squads allows you to get your squads on here. Three people per squad. You can check the news and updates over here. See everything that's going on. And over here is the battle pass. You check where you're at in the battle pass. We're at level two. You can see what the challenges are, but there's no challenges. This is also a technical test. And we run behind here. And what we're gonna do is go to training. Now that we're in the training realm, this is where you start off. Feel free to experiment with the various weapons and over here are the hacks. We'll go through the hacks one by one. Here are these little glass things are windows it took me a while to figure out that they actually were windows or doorways we crack open these get some ammo there's nothing of value so let's go through everything at one at a time so we'll start with the ripper as you see pick up the first ripper the second ripper is going to give you an additional magazine magazine up so you're going to look as you can see right here from this range Ripper does 11 damage. Level one rippers. So let's go closer. As you can see, there's no difference in between getting closer and not. We go to the next level ripper. We have a magazine size. As you can see in the bottom, it increases the magazine size. 16 shots, to, 16 damage to the head, 11 damage to the body at rank one and two. Now let's go to rank Rank three, another mag size increase. Same 11 damage, 16 to the head. So one at rank, at rank, actually we're on rank two, sorry. Not rank three, sorry. At rank two, if you hit all body shots, you can you can literally kill two people and do ha almost half damage to someone else. We'll up it again. We are now rank three. We should be able to kill three people at rank three. It's all body shots, almost close. So the final one, you get a damage increase and the mag increase. Here's a cool thing I'll show you guys. Now we're up to 13 damage a hit and 19 hit in the head. Okay, now I'm out of ammo. If I immediately, so if I'm shooting, and I pick up another gun, it automatically refills my ammo. So as you can see, like it goes down to 25, pick up another Ripper, 36, I don't have to reload. That is a cool mechanic of the game where if you kill someone and they have the same weapon as you in the middle of the fight, you can sit here and just lay into someone low. See, I'm at 15, boom, 36, and I just keep going. Pretty pretty substantial I'm missing these shots because I'm not really trying that hard now we have the hex fire 
And when you switch weapons, it spawns it like this. You can see what happens here. There's no ammo, different types of ammo in the game. It's just one type of ammo shared between all your guns. So the minigun does four damage a second, pretty much it shreds. And let's see if we move up. Yeah, the closer, like the closer you are, it doesn't do much damage, but you, if you have two or three people with the miniguns from what I experienced from the first test, they, it just absolutely shreds. As you can see, like, look at that. It just shreds them. It, it's not the best. Let me just reload. So now we get, so every rank goes up, increases the mag size. You don't need to get the mag numbers, but we get the damage. The damage is what's most important when it's full damage. So you saw four a second. Now we're at five a second. Look at the shred. The mag, like the mag count goes way up. You can, you can, look how many people I can just shred without reloading. Not even once. It's ridiculous. So now we move on. So now we have the sniper rifle. We'll go to the Ripper. We don't need the Ripper anymore. Oh, here's, and as you can see the difference, see it's gold, because that means it's fully upgraded. This is single. And then we'll, we'll just do this. A headshot, 75 damage. Um, the next one is a damage up. So we'll, we'll grab the damage up. Now we're level one, 87 to the head. Level two. Is an upgrade 97 next one up is another damage increase 109 and the last one should be 120 which is a guaranteed one hitter quitter if you have a max sniper rifle you hit him in the head um we'll do body shots so what we're gonna do here is inventory spring up g then we left click to drop it we'll just grab one drop that over here so we don't now here we go now we have the sniper rifle we'll do body shots at rank zero as you can see we're looking at 50 hit rank one 58 rank two 65 rank three 73 at max rank now we're at 80 to the body 120 to the head 80 to the body as you can see it's kind of good it's two hits to the body or one hit to the head as you can see here so it's two shots so if you're with a teammate obviously you're gonna be with teammates hit that one snipe if they're almost dead switch to your minigun and you just mow them down but as you can see the spread from uh, just holding on the hip fire, you still hit. Everything's like a laser. But the Conan, oh, look at that. Look how far I can hit these things with the minigun from that far away. So, like I said, it takes the same amount of ammo, so let's move on. Now we're into the Komodo. So we're just gonna drop these weapons. The cool thing about it is when you hold G, you can press one to reorder them or press Q to reorder your hacks. We'll go through the hacks in a little bit. Here's the Komodo. As I said, it's like a little rocket launcher kind of thing. That's what it feels like. It does 20 damage straight, as you can see. And it does an AOE splash. Well, now we increase the mag size for rank one. It doesn't really do much. It just allows you to shoot more. It still takes a lot, it's 20 damage. It's not, it's not the best, but the fact that it's got that knockback that might be good in a situation to displace people when they're trying to hide behind cover, they go stealth, try to get behind the wall. You can just kind of like, you know, jump, bounce them. You can juggle them. As you can see, it's pretty fast. So if I go, it's as fast as I tip. You can't hold it down to fire, but you can definitely tap it. So it's like, you tap, as you can see, it's just pretty good to kill someone. Now, 
Oh, it does 20 hit. Let's upgrade it to the max. 25. As you can see, I'm not trying to hit too much, but but look at the displacement. You can really get somebody like trapped in the corner. Your teammate will shred him. So we'll just drop this on the ground. We'll take the salvo. Salvo's are your traditional grenade launcher. It's it's 25 straight off the gate. So we'll, we'll go right up to the max because all, all we get is mag size and then the last one is damage. So we do 25 straight through and it's 31 max. As you can see, it's a little bit harder to hit, um, but you can bounce off, you know, do some as you people know from like either quake unreal tournament stuff like that like a flat cannon essentially traditional grenade launcher moving around because you can double jump somebody's caught in a corner this is they're not gonna have a good day if you catch them in the corner but you can see 31 to hit 25 without it so we're out of ammo so we gotta go over here grab some ammo drop that and now for the skybreaker so the skybreaker it's an aoe shot it hits everybody there see so what happens is it, it splits the damage look at this he does 41 damage right but if you hit if you hit a target single it does 50 damage and and i don't think it does anything based on travel yeah, so if it hits a single person, 50. Well, it actually depends on where it hits them. So let's, well, it's 30 right there. If it's direct, yeah, so it, it all depends. It seems to be, but this, is, this gun's pretty good. The only difference with it, see, I hit everything for 49 and hit everything for 50. It is interesting why it's only hitting for 32 there i'll have to figure that out why it's only hitting for a certain amount i guess i guess distance away from it or where proximity i'm not sure yeah why does it i think it's a distance thing i'm not sure we'll have to figure out why those are 50. this one here oh it's distant it has to be a distancing let me get real close get real close so the closer I am to the target, the less damage it does. So if I'm here, 25. If I'm right up close, not much. So the Skybreaker basically requires you to be as far away as possible. See, it does 50 damage. The most is 50 damage, half somebody's life. That's pretty dope. Okay, so we have that. Let's drop that. Now we're into the pistols. Some of you might remember this from Titanfall 2. Smart pistols. See, I don't have to like aim. I just got to keep it kind of in there. See how it aims to them. Does five damage a hit, but if I get really close. Oh, shoot. I have that one. Very, really close. It, it's not. It doesn't lock on that well. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm moving around and it's like missing. I'm really close, but like the further they're away, like this medium range, right, right here, you can get them. Obviously, we when you max it, it, instead of doing five, it does six. But it's like it's a slower minigun, but it doesn't require. It's more tracking than anything else. It just requires you to be remotely close to the target it'll hit but the the ttk time to kill is very very low so it's not something that you'd want to use the riot one is your traditional you know revolver type pistol right 26 to the body 39 to the head it's pretty dope well, and then the next one just increases the damage so so now we have 
29 to the body, 43 to the head, right? We upgrade it one more time, 46 to the head, 31 to the body. Upgrade it one more time, 34. Fifty-one, and now it's fully upgraded. Fifty-seven. So you're looking at and then thirty-eight. This gun is pretty good. I like it a lot. I gotta change my sense because I'm like, I'm off. As you can see, I'm not snapping to the heads a little bit. I'm just this is default controls. I just jumped into the game to show you what these guys are, and obviously, what the first thing you want to do when you get into a game is dial in the sense. Make sure you get the conversion. So there we go. Now for the last weapon, we have the shotgun. I can say something with this. Shotgun, 105 to the head. Let's see when you're up close, 75 to the body. It's, it's pretty good. The further you're away, the worse it is. Obviously it's a shotgun. There's not really much to say here. Just get in somebody's face. If you're this close, if you just jump by them, you know, hit them. And if you get them in the head, it should be it should be a wrap. 105 to the head, just too good. And we're not even fully upgraded, so let's upgrade this to the max. I don't. I haven't really used shotgun. I'm not really a shotgun player, but as you can see, 54 right up close you don't get like i'm probably this close 120 of the head it's pretty you can slide so i might use this a lot more you know we'll see we'll see how we feel and now the main attraction of the game the hacks okay Offensive, defensive, or movement capabilities. You can have two hacks in your inventory and can switch between them easily. Two hacks easily between the two. So we have teleport. We're gonna go, we're not gonna go through all the numbers here. I'm probably gonna let somebody else go through the numbers. I just wanna show you what the abilities are. You guys can look and see if you wanna stop, pause the videos and whatnot. I want to give you this information so you can do stuff i know i can put stuff on the screen but i'd rather just see it. so you, you hold the hack down by hitting q there's my teleport and then the hacks so these are cooldown speed cooldown speed cooldown speed the problem i see right now is these hacks they need to have different color boxes there needs to be a differentiate between the two or the icons need to change color because they all look the same from a glance like you can't obviously you can tell since you played the game if you played the game enough but like right here i know this one's a health one i know this one's some kind of sight one I, and then like these two I have no idea what they are because i'm just too far away but if they were a color we would know exactly what they are so if you teleport seven seconds to reposition oh my gosh can't hit anything with this sensitivity all right, guys. Well, teleporting is pretty dope. Then we have slam, oh, yeah. which is uh, jump in the air and you slam the ground. So as you can see, this game is a lot about mobility. But the cool thing about the slam is we'll just upgrade the slam. You can slam and then start shooting. Empty. And then you can teleport right out of it. So there's combinations. I'll let you guys um, figure out what you guys feel on either one. But I think you guys would be very interested to see how the verticality, the we're gonna have a game on the channel. Um, we didn't win the game, but there's gonna be a game on there where it shows how the crown works towards the end. Um, and I'll explain all that stuff later. But as, as you can see, the sense is a little bit off. So if you slam, you can start shooting in the air or you can teleport. My sense was right. But like, that's the cool thing about the game. You can do a lot. 
see how i just did that and then you can just teleport out of it so you have you have a lot of different capabilities on there so those are the two there you have a bouncy ball bouncy ball is pretty cool it's as you can see it turns into gold now the ball is just simple you have a little armor bounce around it allows you to escape things this is one of my favorite reversal I like to traverse the map with this it's easy and then to get out of it just right click left click you can shoot right out of it so you can see that now we'll go into the armor armor you can't you can't actually do anything else you just have a high armor based upon like you just hold your hands out but you can't shoot if you shoot it cancels the armor it's good for getting away everything just reduces cooldown speed so i'm running away with the armor like you can still run you can still double jump the moment you bring a pistol out it, it cancels it so you can't actually do that whole the whole thing as other games where you have the armor and you can shoot and do also like this is my favorite weapon to heal you just heal it's a little box heals around you and then the cooldown speeds there pretty straightforward it's a heal the reveal played apex you know about bloodhound but as you can see there's no everything's hit scan it's where where you're aiming that's where it is a lot of people are like you have to reposition the recoil is recoil is like almost non-existent as you guys saw look at this a little bit you just it's not like the wingman in apex but i like it a lot better so put the healing down we'll we'll drop that we'll drop that we'll pick up this gun only three more so this is the invisibility Turn invisible self-explanatory come out and start shooting pretty simple homing mind is one of my favorites because you can do you can do a lot with this thing as you can see i put it up in the air you can't it's basically too high so there's a lot of uses you can you can do with this put it right above his head it does 75 damage which is pretty dope so you just put that there and as you can see it's a seeker mine if it has the ability to seek it will since it didn't this should this should seek as you can see it goes pretty dope last but not least is the mod is the is the wall put a little, a little wall out just to destroy it or jump over it you can do cool things like that and place a mine on the wall so when they come around like you put it like right here and then somebody's on the other side and they don't want to destroy it to come around the side boom get hit in the face for 75 damage and then you're good to go well that ain't that's it guys i hope you guys uh got to see all the weaponry and everything in the game i actually enjoy this game a lot hopefully have more of it on the channel and i'll see you in the next video peace